thank you for joining me for another episode of Talk the Talk. I'm Desh Balay Bechen and I am your host for today. Um, joining me is Yandiswa Mdlalose, a production process coach at Ford Motor Company, one of the only engineers in my network. So I'm very, always very proud to have her in studio with me. So Yandiswa has a strong understanding of the automotive technology and the automotive industry, which is why she gives expert advice to customers and a team regarding vehicles and the motor industry as such. She's quick to solve any problems that arise at the workplace and she knows how to communicate effectively with any of her customers and her team members. Um, on that note, she simply has exceptional uh, communication skills which make it easier for anyone uh, to communicate with her as well. She leads a team of 70 people and she has an open door policy. She is celebrated amongst her colleagues, her team, her superiors, whoever it is that comes into contact with her, including myself actually. Um, she was one of the winners last year for MOT and I think this has um, afforded us the opportunity to bond with each other and I'm loving my journey with Yandiswa. Her customers often return for her advice, which is why it's clear to say that she maintains a positive customer relationship with clients. She keeps to a strict schedule to ensure that she works efficiently for her own benefit as well as the company's. And I must mention this, she graduated uh, last year and I'm so, so proud to bring her back as a graduate. Let's welcome Yandiswa and as always, this interview is proudly brought to you by Siriti Solutions. Hello Yandisa. Hi. Oh my gosh, you're like, I mean, you know when we had this gap, I said to you off air and we said I, I was allowed to invite someone else because unfortunately the lady that's supposed to be uh, in the slot uh, could not make it um, un due to unfortunate circum mm -hmm. uh, unforeseen circumstances. But um, I said, I have one person I want to bring back. She's one of the only engineers. She's an ambassador. She's a chairperson. She's spearheading all of these, uh, uh, you know, woman empowerment um, initiatives within the Ford brand. We have to have you on this one. And then when my booking lady called you, you were screaming on the phone. Yes. Why? I'm so excited. Why? She Yandisua? remembers me. <laughs> Of course I remember you, I love you. Thank you so I, much. I hardly even say that ever. Um, I do love everybody, but I'm telling you, I, you are my inspiration. You're doing the things that I literally, literally could never do. I cannot study or sit in front of a book or, you know, um, I don't, I, I just, I, I'm a free spirit. I do not like to be, um, I do not like to be, uh, you know, uh, doing things that is going to um, confine me. Yes. So, and you, you can do it all. So like, yeah, you're well-rounded. Um, that's why I invited you and thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So let's, let's, let, I think let's recap um, the journey of, uh, you know, uh, your, uh, your time in the motoring trade. So I've, I've, I've been around the motoring industry for the past 20 years. I joined as an operator at Ford Motor Company in Stonedale. Mm -hmm. um, I was only 22 years then. Mm -hmm. um, and then I moved to Pretoria in 2005. I joined in as an operator. I became a quality inspector. Mm -hmm. I became a lean facilitator. Then moved to being an FPS technician. Um, and then I became an MMOG engineer. Wow. Uh, and then from MOG engineer back to FPS, uh, coordinator for the plants. Mm -hmm. So I was coordinating for both plants in PE and in Pretoria. Mm -hmm. And then um, there was just this transformation happening in the plant where I'm sure you've seen the headlines where um, Ford invested uh, 16 billion. So there were so many thing happen things happening. I had to, to, to change my career, 360. Just wow. Like <laughs> From office-based with aircon and everything to a production process coach, 
where we're literally building the units. Wow. That is so amazing and that is why I said earlier on and mentioned you are so well-rounded, you are so adaptable. So, and that's an amazing characteristic to have, but what is your, uh, let's just steer off the job and, and the company and the brands for now and let's talk about your experience when you received that award last year. Oh, wow. <laughs> I remember, all I remember is wow. that these were in this red dress with a big bow, right? Yes, at the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it was, it was, a, it was a, a moment that I can never explain. I know that um, we, we celebrated on Mother's Day, we celebrated on birthdays mm -hmm. by loved ones, mm -hmm. but being celebrated by a big brand like that, mm -hmm. being identified, it gave me dignity. It gave me another another name to myself. I'm no longer just Yandi, so hey, I'm an award winner. <laughs> I love it. I love it, Yandi. I always remind people, mm -hmm. do you know who I am? Uh -huh. I'm an award winner. Do you know, I see that on a lot of profiles on Facebook, LinkedIn. Um, there's, uh, you know, they've got their, their, their profile description, but part of it is, Award winner MWT by NetBank and MFC, and I'm like, that's me. Yay. <laughs> that's amazing. That's me. Yes, <laughs> it, it has it has changed my life a lot. Mm -hmm. um, the, the 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 recognition is 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 too much. Um, even when people were not seeing the potentials, now I have to live to live up to that award. Because I've, I've won the award, I did not win the award because of I'm Yandiswa. Mm -hmm. I've won the award because of the merits, because of everything that I've been doing around the motoring industry. Yes, and you've raised the bar. And it's amazing. You've raised the bar and, um, you know, the followers and the people that aspire to be the next engineer and be in a in a in uh, an environment that was predominantly male. Um, it, it gives them the courage to do it. And so thank you for being that example. Um, yeah, this uh, having said that, why do you think women will do well in, the, um, in, in our trade? Especially, I'm going to try and maybe streamline that question, especially in after sales and in manufacturing. We have arrived. We have arrived, women have arrived. Mm -hmm. And um, there is nothing that a man can do that women cannot do. Yeah. If everything, if the expectations are, 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 are clear mm -hmm. and targets are, are, are well communicated, mm -hmm. No woman cannot do that. Mm -hmm. And um, as women, we need to take courage in knowing that there is nothing that we can, we, we, we give birth. Yes. Yes. We, there is nothing that can stop us from being whoever we want to be in the motoring industry. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and the technology now is changing. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's allowing us. Yes. It's allowing us to be us yes. in in the environment Absolutely. that is male dominated. Absolutely, because we cannot take away from what men can contribute or yes. are contributing or have contributed. We are designed differently. Yes, um, but yes, you're right. Technology um, is changing to, and it enables us to be in that space. Yes, absolutely. Most definitely. Now, Yandiswa. Um, I know the last time you said you had so many different people that inspires you. Um, has there been a new set of uh, contributors to your inspiration and your motivation recently? Yes, actually, um, I've met a, 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 our, our IMG president, Diane Craig. Mm -hmm. she, 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 she sparked something to me when we had um, a one-on-one, -on -one when she arrived in our plant, um, that um, she said, you need to bring your authenticity in everything you do. Absolutely. Don't be somebody that you are not at work. So this came up after the conversation that, after the dinner that she had with her boss, mm -hmm. when she invited her boss to her house. Uh -huh. Then the boss asked her, why don't you bring this Diane to work? Uh 
-hmm. because I'm seeing a different Diane at work. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it made her to change right. how she was doing things. Right. So I'm bringing also, I took that from her and I'm bringing the Yandiswa. My, I'm living my true, my truth. I do that every day. To everything that I'm yes. doing, I'm bringing yes. the Yandiswa. Have to, have to. We cannot pretend uh, to be something that we're not. That we're not. We cannot, um, me being the minority in terms of uh, a journalist yes. in, in the field, a female journalist, a, 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 a female journalist of color, you know, in South Africa, in the field of journalism, motoring journalism. That's one thing that I learned very early in the game. Just be yourself. Yes. The country, the industry needs this diversity, needs to be exposed, and the narrative of diversity and inclusion need to stay open. So that's very, very true. I need to get Diane in here. So let's make that possible. Yes, I love what course, you said. Of course, of course. Absolutely. And how do you deal, um, Yandiswa, how do you deal with, and I'm, and I'm saying again this in, in, in the context of um, having a bad day due to you being undermined in terms of what you actually can offer in your space? I slip things off <laughs> lately. <laughs> lately I slip things off. What's that? Sleep? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, honestly, I go home and I take a bath and I sleep. Mm -hmm. and I wake up a different person in the morning. Mm -hmm. But I, 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 how I deal with my bad days is I, I, I like to to think things through now. Yeah. Instead of being confrontational, yeah. instead of putting emotions mm -hmm. in any things that came up, I like to go home, sleep it off, mm -hmm. and then when I wake up, I'm, I'm, I'm waking up with a different mindset, mm -hmm. with a different view of what transpired yesterday, and with different emotions. That, that's really, really good advice. That's uh, life after 40, my friend. You know, I, I pulled out something, a quote for you, and I want to read it. And this just resonates with you and the type of person I believe you to be. Um, being a leader does not mean dominating the situation. It means empowering people to do what they would not have imagined possible. And that's you. Perfectly that's you. said. You are leading a team of 70 people and you are still driving the Women Empowerment Initiative within Ford and your company and you're the chairperson of this initiative and it is... I was also selected as a board partner wow. to the Vice President of Brand and Marketing globally. I love that. Well done, Yandisa. Thank you so much. Well done. It would not have happened if you were also not part of it. <gasps> I would not be where I am. <laughs> I'm going to receive that. Like honestly, I would not. People would not have known me for who I am if it was not for the nomination and the award. Wow, that's powerful. I want to tell you something else. Mm -hmm. The person that nominated me last year, mm -hmm. I'm reporting to this year. No way. I'm kidding you not. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Well, Women power. Women power, absolutely. Um, and I want to be involved in everything that Ford is one of the OEM brands, or one of the brands that really, really, uh, you know, champions for this change in the transformation that we are seeing. And I'm so proud. And, um, I, and, and also, just a quick one. I mm -hmm. also love um, how we are, they are bringing us together as women. Yeah. So we have a Women of Ford that I'm a chairperson to. Mm -hmm. um, for Women of Ford South Africa. Uh -huh. We are taking all our strategic imperatives from global Women of Ford that I'm also a board partner to. Wow. And it's, the, the objectives are clear. Everything is, is, is about women. Men are allies in bringing women up to speed. Absolutely. They are, and they, it's amazing that it's, we're seeing it happen. They are really, men are really championing for this change. And it's very they, beautiful to watch. They are standing in it's, solidarity it's with women. It's beautiful to watch Neil mm -hmm. Hills, Orchid Berry, Tim Day, putting their heads together in understanding and wanting to know how can we help you. Well, the demographic now is, or the statistic is 53% um, women purchases of vehicles. Yes, and yes. And 85% uh, contributing decision maker to buying a car, so I think they're doing the right thing. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, how do you 
how do you measure success? My heart is full when people come together to celebrate the, 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 the achieved mm -hmm. objective. Mm -hmm. That's what I measure as success. Okay, I love that. Um, is it very, very important for you um, to meet people? You know, I know we meet interesting people in our trade every single day, but it is, is how critical is it for you to surround yourself with, um, with special people? people that actually lifts you up um it's 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 very it's i depend on i love to read my energies mm -hmm. i love to read energies um and if my energy is is positive around certain individuals i would get to know them better yeah. Yeah. and um women are very special and, and and i love to surround myself with with women that um are eager to learn, mm -hmm. other women that would want to grow, mm -hmm. women that um, that want to continue to change uh, behaviors. Yes, uh, and that are that, that are confiding us mm -hmm. and, and and putting us in this box. Mm -hmm. So I, I I like surrounding myself with people that are more than me. Definitely, and. Um, yeah, and this one, there's so much for you to be proud of. But what's one thing that stood out that you are so, so proud of that you've achieved? I graduated. Yay. Well I'm done. so proud yeah, of, of, of the fact that I graduated and I registered again to do my honors. Um, it's, it's tough to, to be a mother, a, a process coach, and a friend, a sister, mm -hmm. but when I graduated, it was all that I've ever wanted. Mm -hmm. I knew that at, at age of 40, I want to wear my graduation gown. I did not know it was going to happen. Mm -hmm. And it happened twice. It's going to happen the third time. And well I'm done. so proud of myself. Well done, Yandisa. So proud I'm of I'm so proud of you. We are proud of you. We are proud of you because you are such a big part of this initiative. Not because you just, because you won the award. It's because of who you are. And I thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me again. You're welcome. You're welcome, Yandisa. And thank you, viewers. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and sharing our interviews and content. Our nonprofit companies, the Mountain Woman of the Year Awards, which is powered by MFC and Evo by NetBank, and the Talk the Talk Studios, which is powered by Seriti Solutions, are aimed at recognizing and celebrating the women of motoring South Africa. We are not just telling stories, we are changing lives. Together, we aim to empower and uplift the women of our trade. For those of you that are searching for your new ride, please visit www.otto.evo.africa. We have thousands of vehicles on sale for you to choose from. And we only advertise on behalf of reliable and trustworthy MFC accredited dealerships. This car listing portal is incredibly user-friendly and you can also find vehicle reviews and car maintenance tips and advice all of cut uh, all courtesy sorry of talk the talk studios ladies while it's important to teach our girls to be polite considerate and compassionate we need to also raise them up to be brave strong and courageous women and i think uh, our conversation here and this was all about that um, you know just allowing our girls and you know teaching them at a young age to hold their own yes no matter what so if we are constantly shielding them from negative feedback how will they build on their character to be more resilient later in life when they encounter setbacks and criticism bravery is what picks us up off the ground and aids us to persist through difficult times and it, again I'm talking about all of this because in the, uh, uh, the position of Yandiswa it is not it's it's not a place that was predominantly it's a predominantly male space yes. and we need to have resilience in that position so it is so important for our girls to be equipped with these uh, with these tools um, because if our girls focus solely on being the best or perfect 
they are not able to reach their full potential. They will be too frightened to speak up for themselves, to not cause conflict, and will criticize themselves when they make a mistake or fail at something. Striving for perfection causes unnecessary stress and anxiety and teaches girls to work towards something that is not even achievable. It's True. not fair. It really is not fair on them. So be sure to carefully support, encourage and motivate the young impressionable minds around you and always remember that the question should never be who's going to let me. It should be who's going to stop me. Absolutely. <laughs>